Does my favorite lunatic like to play chess? I don't understand. <laughs> Do you play chess? That was the question. What chess? International chess? I was just asking if you know how to play chess, not at any tournament level, just for fun. I know, but you have to tell me what moves. I don't play all the moves. I know Chinese chess, but it's terrible. I will drive back now and talk to you later. He is convinced that the person he's talking to is a nice woman, but it's not. Lead a horse to water, but cannot make it drink. <laughs> I don't know what to say about him. He has always believed that this woman is real, but I have found a picture of this woman on the internet. But he still said that the picture I was looking for was not the same woman. They did not make a video call or even a voice call. You are right. Let it drink water by itself. How did you find the image? Google images. It's nice of you to try and persuade him, but this man is unfortunately a simpleton. Why does he want to believe the story so much? I will tell you why. He has a scarcity mindset. Glass half empty. It is sad. You tried at least. Here is more horse wisdom. <clears throat> Lead Jack Ma to easy money, but cannot make him shut up. Criticizing the regulators. Well, they shut him up now. <laughs> yes. What is glass half empty? It is a pessimist's view of the world. Glass half full versus glass half empty. Do you know how much sales on Taobao, a shopping platform owned by Jack Ma, was on the day of last year's shopping festival? It is to be a loser and not realize it. Probably a lot. His empire will be carved up by the government now. But go on, tell me. From midnight on November first to half past midnight on November eleventh. The real time turnover of the 2020 Small Double Eleven Global Carnival season reached 372.3 billion yen. As of 8 p.m. on November 11th, the real time turnover exceeded 467.4 billion yen. Sales on the day were about 500 billion yen. It's about 77 billion in U.S. dollars. This is just a day's sales. That's what happens in a country with a massive population, and especially when the government directly enables a business. State and enterprise is more linked together under Xi. Yes, I don't think the Chinese government is doing this very well. If companies do not obey the Communist Party, they will be sanctioned. This is the current Communist Party. It is no different from the previous bandit. Communism with Chinese characteristics. Be in love with the government, but do not marry them. Jack Ma. He said that years ago. Amazing how he kept pushing his luck. <laughs> It seems that you are very interested in Chinese entrepreneurs. I'm not particularly interested in Chinese entrepreneurs, no more than other countries. But I had to learn a little about China capital markets in 2019, and that was the beginning of my learning journey. What did you study? I had to study the Chinese mentality, or maybe that should be mentality with a big M. It was about getting a website to work and be perceived correctly on the mainland. Chinese mentality? God, I think you should learn from the Japanese mentality. Japan is the most civilized country I have ever seen. I think the Chinese have a good mentality in the minority. Well, I had to build a website that had a certain design aesthetic, and I also helped write the content. I had to come up with the right words. For marketing. Oh yes, I know. 
I watch lots of Japan content from YouTubers, Japanese living in the UK, in Hong Kong, in China, and in Japan too, obviously. Yes, but because of World War II, many Chinese people hate Japan. True, China's great humiliation. I know Japan-owned businesses in China in the past have been attacked, usually when the Chinese Communist Party blows its whistle. I watched a video about China and Hong Kong last night. I wondered what you would think about the points made if you saw it. Translate what she said to me. My spoken language is not good. Does she mean that Hong Kong economics level is too high? She said the rent is high in Hong Kong and the apartments are tiny. She could have put Chinese subtitles on her video. Yes, this is a fact. I have seen the poorer people in Hong Kong. A family of eight people lives in a room of about 50 square meters. They can't afford a big house. Hong Kong. Compact city, busy streets, high buildings, everyone walks fast. Stressful. Open internet. China. Wide open spaces, large sidewalks, low buildings, slower pace, cheaper, closed internet. Hello May, it's Darren. Can you understand me? Can you understand my accent? Could you understand me? Yes. Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Darren. My name is Dana. I come from Saudi Arabia. I'm very sorry to bother you and contacting you in person using your personal phone number. But I just read your article about Chinese scamming and I really want to thank you in person and thank all those who commented that brought light to me. I was going to be scammed by sending $1,000 to an online Chinese lover, as he claimed. And every point you mentioned was exactly 100% correct. Profile picture was too good to be true, and had a previous tragic instance. He actually claimed his girlfriend had a car crash for using a video camera with him. It's a way to avoid any video calls with me. Sorry for the long message and my bad English, but I really wanted to thank you so much for sharing what's really happening. I was so hopeless and I had to ask Google <laughs> and saw your article. God bless you. Wow, I'm so glad you avoided such a big headache. Tell May about it. She will be glad to know you avoided this trouble. Sure. She has been advising people how to get their money back and how to spot fake profiles. Dana asked a good question. Is there a way to report these crimes to foreign governments? Will your complaint be taken seriously? Well, I'm on the Hong Kong Police Force website and it seems that there is, in fact, an e-report centre. And if you visit the e-report centre, you will find that there is a tab for crime and report cyber crime. So you could give that a try. You enter your name and your phone number and your email address and actual address. So you could try this. I'm not going to go through the process because, well, I'm not a victim of any crime, but if you've lost money to a Hong Kong scammer, you could try this. There's a page on the Hong Kong police website which talks about scams and has some example scenarios that they've created. And some of these, well, I don't know, they're token efforts, really. I don't know if this is really helping to educate people. Hopefully it is. I know lots of people in Hong Kong get scammed. Um, but I can't imagine many foreigners have seen these videos. So let's watch this. Bitcoin or virtual commodities fraud. What do you know about Bitcoin? Have you ever used or traded Bitcoin? In tonight's police report, we will try to explain exactly what Bitcoin is 
and outline some of the dangers involved in its use. Let's take a look. Marco, Marco, I bet you don't buy this money. Don't forget. Yeah. Hey, your money was in the Olympics. Huh? But I didn't buy this money for the Olympics. Hey, I bought it for nine times. It's all the fish and wildlife that I bought. It's all the fish and wildlife that I bought. It's all the fish and wildlife that I bought. It's all the fish and wildlife that I bought. 咁點算啊？而家我啲錢攞唔攞得翻噶？嗯，我諗都好難拎得翻噶啦。你 Bitcoin 係啲跨國嘅虛擬貨幣，人哋過到數啊，都即刻使埋啦。嚇、啊！咁點算好啊？最好嘅方法就報警咯。嚇、啊！咁即係我啲錢咪唔見曬咯？當埋個教訓啦。Apart from the value being highly volatile, Bitcoin can be stolen, with recovery being extremely difficult. Bitcoin has also been used in numerous criminal ways, and there are strict reporting requirements for suspicious transactions. Bye bye. Today, investor, tomorrow will have money to pay. Wedding don't have a problem. Hmm. Calm down, Lam Sir. You want to buy flowers? Then, if you buy flowers, you can spend the whole day living. So, let's go to the Golden Gem. 但係你哋要幫我睇好佢喎，真係。冇問題，我哋一定幫你睇住啊！倫敦金騙案，繼續人信嘅咩？唔似我嗰間嘅。我快啲！Unfortunately, there's just nothing about Tinder scams, WhatsApp scams, instant messaging scams. It's the same formula. It's people catfishing or people who actually are women or are these men just hoodwinking people, plain and simple, and they're hiding behind anonymity. So uh, I updated my Tinder profile. I actually used Tinder Passport while it was... Free, and set my location to Hong Kong. I edited my profile so that I could actually try and filter out some of the scammers. There should be no idiots, no scammers, no prostitutes. And I matched with somebody called May. Now it's a different May. It was nothing to do with. The May I'd been talking to this whole time, it was pure coincidence. However, this May, this new May, Tinder May, I'll call her, she wasted no time in getting to the part where she asks for my WhatsApp. She messaged me to say good evening. I'm from Hong Kong, China. I said that's a nice city. She said, "Have you been to Hong Kong?" I asked her why she's up so late. She said that she only needs a little bit of sleep. I said that you'll need more sleep if you want to look pretty when you're older. And she says, "Oh, don't worry about that. I'll always be beautiful because I run a plastic surgery hospital." Laugh out loud, and I laughed out loud, and I really did laugh out loud. I laughed. I said, "No amount of plastic surgery can hide an ugly heart." And then she said, "No, I think I'm a more loving person." And、I、asked her in what way, and she said, "I supported three poor children to go to school until they graduated from college." I said, "Oh, that's a nice story." Yeah, I'm being sarcastic. And she keeps asking me what I do. She wants to know, and she's tr- trying to find out if I've got money. That's what she's doing.、And、then she said, "I'm going to go for a run, and I'll talk to you later." And、uh, I asked, I initiated the next. Conversation. I said, "Did you work out today?" And she said, "I went to see the children in the mountains at the weekend." Oh, okay. So she goes to visit children in the mountains. I can see where this is going. I asked her about it. What children? Your children live in the mountains. She said, "No, some poor children in the mountains." What do they do up there? I asked her. Go to school. Oh, I said. And the conversation goes on and on. How are you today? Really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very shallow back and forth. I'm happy too. Can we talk somewhere else? She said. I replied, Yes, sure. And then she gives me her WhatsApp number, which is a Hong Kong number. 
and I said, okay, good girl. And then we started talking on WhatsApp. So there you go. That is a very straightforward, typical textbook fishing expedition. They match with you on Tinder, they get you on WhatsApp, and then usually they'll eventually unmatch on Tinder. But we haven't, and I've been talking to her, but we haven't got to the part where she's got me to agree to some kind of investment transaction. If I did get to that stage, and I won't, but if I did, I'm pretty sure that she would unmatch on Tinder because then I wouldn't be able to report her. So now that I had this brand new Tinder May on the line, I actually went and asked regular original May a few questions about spotting catfishes. What can you tell just by looking at pictures? You can tell if her photo is a web photo or a real photo. See if you can open in your Tinder app. I can't see. Why you can match 9,000 kilometers? My location is Hong Kong. Did she say she is from Hong Kong? My location is Hong Kong. I am matching with women who live there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Most are real women. Why? I'm fishing for scammers. I also like learning about Hong Kong and it's always more interesting when I talk to women I find attractive. I thought I'd already told you I was using Tinder Passport. Perhaps not. How did you locate Hong Kong? Tinder Passport. How did you put your position in Hong Kong? How can this be done? What is that? VIP? Tinder offer a service called Passport. They sometimes offer it for free. Normally, you have to pay, yes. Okay, I haven't studied it much. Well, don't waste too much time on Tinder. Many people who use it are shallow and boring. What software do you use to tease girl in your country? <laughs> what? Tinder. Okay. To tease girls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any friends who invest in cryptocurrency? I use a translator to talk to you. Really? Yes. I'm slightly disappointed to learn this. I only speak a little English, most of which require translation. Why? Translation apps are not accurate. Too much room for misunderstanding. Yes, I know that. It's hard to have a meaningful conversation with someone when language is a barrier. No, I do not. Why do you ask? Yes, but I think English is really not easy to understand. Not as easy to understand as Chinese. English has many inconsistencies. If so, we can find a part-time job to make some money, and I teach him to trade his cryptocurrency. Then we can propose 5% per person. So now you're going to go on Tinder and try and make men invest in cryptocurrency. I don't understand why you would say that when you know people are suspicious of crypto trades. No, I don't use this software. What I mean is that if someone around you invests in cryptocurrency, I can give him investment advice. If my advice is helpful to it, then he can take out 10% of the profit. And you and me are each 5%. Isn't this great? I'm not interested. I hope you don't get angry or misunderstand me. I have never forced others to invest with me. Don't compare me. And the advice I give them is to trade on a formal platform. If my words make you unhappy, forget them, as I have never said these things. I don't know anyone who invests, and if I did, I doubt they would take advice from me or you. I wish you had said from the beginning you'd be using a translation app. Uh, why? Because we might not have been so rude to each other. 
If I encounter a word I can't spell, I have to apply a translation. <gasps> oh. So when you talked to me on the first day, you thought I could understand what you meant. In fact, you are not scolding me, but an emotional sentence. I don't know if I'm communicating with someone who knows what they're saying. English is very nuanced. Do you understand this explanation? You thought I was being anti-China and anti-Hong Kong. Because of this, I said, fuck you. Remember? Of course. It is a shame we did all that because over time, on a personal level, I have come to regard you as quite nice and pleasant. A nice woman. I have a funny story, actually, about a misunderstanding with a Chinese woman I met on Tinder. Tell me. Thanks, you are also good. Okay, I matched with her on Tinder and we exchanged WhatsApp details. We flirted a lot and talked about things. We sent each other voice recordings. She spoke in English and I spoke in Mandarin. And then? <laughs> she let you invest? Well, we both have heavy accents. I have poor Chinese. She has poor English. We never ever discussed investments. It was a genuine match. We talked about sex and dating. Anyway. Does that mean she is real? Where is she from? Chongqing. Doesn't matter. Let me tell the story. So... Okay. Chongqing hot girls. Chongqing people like spicy food very much. But I guess she is not in China. Yes, she was tall, fit, sexy, outspoken. Typical Chongqing girl. But she ended up getting very angry with me and we no longer talk. Are you following the story? Okay, sorry, you continue. I like to sit and meditate every day if I can. Silence. In fact, I like to meditate in silence at the same time as friends. We start at the same time. It's like we have one mind together at the same time. Understand? I mentioned this to her. The girl. Yeah. I said, do you like to meditate? I love to. Makes me feel positive. She ignored the sentence and we talked about something else. I mentioned it again another day. I said, we can meditate at the same time. We can send good thoughts to each other. I will imagine you meditating and you will imagine me meditating. Me and my friends do this often as it helps us to relax and have a better attitude. Sorry, what is meditation? What do meditate on? Meditate that the two of you are making love? Sit in silence, close eyes. Religion. Okay. Buddhist. Carry on. There's a Hong Kong religion set up in the 1990s, Falun something. She said, go to bed. She thought meditate meant masturbate. Falun Gong? She was angry because she thought I wanted us to masturbate together. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, it borrows from Buddhism. Then why don't you explain? I tried. I kept asking her why she was angry. This religion has long been classified as a cult in mainland China and has been suppressed by the Communist Party. We were both learning each other's language, but by this point it was too late. It destroyed any attraction between us. But I cannot stop laughing about it, even now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. There is only one god in China. Money. Communism and freedom of thought do not mix together well. In Hong Kong, I saw banners that say, Falun Gong is good. Then right next to it is a Chinese Communist Party banner saying it is a stupid cult and dangerous. <laughs> yes. Now, more and more people in Hong Kong don't trust believers begin to follow the Communist Party. What choice do they have? None. You should escape, Mei. Don't turn into a Chinese commie drone. My parents trust Christianity, but I don't trust any religion.
Well, I am not religious either. Buddhism is about as unreligious as you can get. I know Christians. I understand the attraction. It's nice to be part of a community. But I believe that with China's economic development in the past 30 years, at most 20 years, China will be the world's largest economic power. All countries will revolve around China. China wants to be the world's pharmacy. Fact. After that, you never contacted again? No, I deleted a number. Why? I'm not wasting my time with someone who gets upset over something that really is funny. She had no sense of humour. There's better girls than her. I have some photos of her still, I think. You may not know Chinese woman. Maybe there is a problem with language communication. This is a Chongqing girl. I deleted her from Tinder, so I cannot remember. I matched with several from Chongqing. Yeah, you're right. I don't but I understand better than most foreigners. What does she do? You only know the surface. Real Chinese women are squeamish. Something to do with public transport. They love to be coquettish and angry, and everything they say is the opposite. Have you ever had sex with a Chinese girl? No. Should I? How could I know? I have been thinking about a question. I don't prefer one nationality over another. No preference, really. European males are big, so European females must also have big cats. So Asian women's cats must be tighter and more comfortable than European women's cats. What do you think? I hope this translation, you can understand it. Yeah, I understand. Asian women are petite. <laughs> you and your dirty mind. <laughs> Why is it dirty? I am teasing you. It amuses me to think that you're a lunatic of some kind. You're probably secretly very kinky. No, I am an elegant lady, but I am a madman on the internet. And in the bedroom, you are somewhere between elegant and a madman. I'm going to meditate now, sit quiet for 30 minutes. What do you usually think about when you meditate? Nothing. Sometimes I start thinking, but then I try to stop it and have the mind be quiet. I don't think I can stop thinking about anything. If New York is the city that never sleeps, maybe Hong Kong is the one that never stops thinking. Oh! <laughs> Warren Buffett advises against overthinking things. He says we obsess over patterns that might not really exist. He succeeded. Everything he said is fragrant. Do you know he read a book called Bond Salesmanship when he was seven years old? What a weird kid he must have been. not sure what to think of May. It's entirely possible she's a scammer who is learning how not to carry out investment frauds because of me and the article that I wrote. It's as though the more I interact with her, the more she learns, like she's adjusting all the time. <laughs> Haven't you mentioned the video call? No, I'm not interested in wasting my time on her. Your friend? I don't know that number. What do you think to the story the girl told me though? I don't know. I haven't talked to this kind of woman. Plastic surgery hospital. Sounds ridiculous. Where is it from? She's a man! My goodness, this liar dared to make a video call with me. I guess he must have seen my mobile number in your article and contacted me. Oh my god! What was said? She didn't say anything. She sent me a message. Hello and I made a video call to him. 
Do you think this kind of person is worth helping? I had an audio call with me. It was a bit difficult to understand her. Her English wasn't very good and it was obvious that she was using a translation app. She's a real person. She's a woman. I know that because I know others have had video calls with her. I put people into a WhatsApp group who had been contacting her via her phone number in the comment in the article. So anyway, we put them all, all these people in this WhatsApp group and we were discussing scammers. May and me were admins and there were about eight people, eight or nine people total. And at the same time, I thought, is May just trying to take advantage of people who have lost money, claiming to help them by investing with her? And the group didn't last. Everyone became suspicious of each other and it was over distrust of May and some of the things that she ended up saying. The scam victims were contacting me privately because we were all obviously in this group now so we could all contact each other. And within the space of about an hour we all received mysterious phone call spams, spam calls from Zurich advertising investments. And when I said, where did you get this number? The woman said, it's because you've expressed an interest in investment. And I hadn't, and I immediately thought of May. So that was weird. And she ended up getting angry and kicking everybody out of the group because we all asked her some very pointed questions which she was unwilling to answer. And she got very defensive and emotional and she left the group eventually but I added everybody back into the group and the discussion turned to May. Is May a scammer? Is May not a scammer? And I did actually end up sharing some rather interesting things that I found out about May, not least the fact that her Facebook is very suspicious.